Good morning everyone. So uh, a couple of days ago I got the latest update which is 2018.10.4 and I've heard and read some uh, autopilot improvements that are supposed to be there. So yeah, let's see what this update brings us. So the first one is here when at the white sign at the, at the road it goes uh, it says it's a 50 uh, kilometers an hour section and now it more gradually uh, makes the change oh it actually braked for that car crossing that's also cool but the change from 70 to 50 is more gradual instead of really hard um, but that's only one of the few changes um, that are in there but it's a good change the problem however is that um, the car still only starts to slow down when it passes that sign so if the cops are standing there with their speed camera then you still get a ticket um, since the system is only gps based i think tesla should know the exact uh, timing or distance at when it needs to start braking before that uh, so that you don't exceed the speed limit just after that sign but yeah that's a small difference now here I'm going to uh, leave a little bit of room and then uh, we'll see what it does at the top of the hill because usually at the top of the hill um, the car actually veers off to the right um, but let's see what the current update does so we're coming to the top of the hill and it doesn't move it just goes straight on so that's a big improvement let's see what it does at the bottom here yeah that's that's a perfect run so that's a big improvement uh, in view of the last one uh, let's try the top of the hill here uh, as well in the last video or the previous update it also moved to the right here no movement whatsoever it just goes straight on so yeah way to go Tesla that's that's a good update so here we have the uh, second section where the car uh, loses the lines on the left and on the right and then it just shudders a little bit Let's see what it does now. It moves a little bit to the inside, but no jerky movements whatsoever. And still with confidence within the lanes. So, yep, good one on that section too. Here we're coming up to the section with the tight right and left turn. Hands on steering wheel, of course. And let's hope there's no car coming from the other way so we can let the car do its own thing. Oh, it's going slightly over the line. Yep, it's going back in the line. So it corrects itself a little bit. Here also, it's going slightly over the line and then it reduces speed to, uh, to keep itself within the lane. So if anything, that is a slight regression as to the last one because then it was just staying barely within the lines um, but yeah this is a very difficult section that they uh, that the car needs to navigate so that's not an easy one to do so here we are coming up to the part where the car in front of me might turn to the left if I'm lucky and then we'll see how long it takes for the car to react uh, to the car in front of me disappearing from my lane usually it takes quite some time and I would like it to be a little bit faster in response to that but yeah it's it's not always uh, it's not always the case sometimes it's quite smooth uh, but sometimes it is uh, like one or two seconds that it hesitates and and comes to a stop 
where as a manual driver you anticipate the car going uh, away and then you wait of course until you have a safe passage uh, but you start accelerating a little bit sooner than what the car does and that's that's something I think that is inherent to the uh, autonomous driving systems oh here the car is going let's see how it reacts so it waits it waits and only now it starts accelerating again so I would like to see the response time a little bit sooner but as I was saying um, could be inherent to the autonomous driving systems because a computer for a computer it's difficult to anticipate um, maybe if the AI has uh, vastly more experience it's also capable of anticipating trajectories um, so that would be cool but for now I think it can only react to a situation so the response times are going to be slower than what a human would do at this point in my opinion uh, because we anticipate behavior uh, based on the experience that we have so here we're coming up to that uh, quick lane shift another car shifting and the car is braking braking and now accelerating again so let's hope yeah don't think we're going to get to the full speed here oh that was different it's cutting corners now so it's not doing the left right shift anymore it's trying to cut the corner there I think we need to do that again and see what it does at full speed but it was really close to the uh, curb that it was driving so uh, I feel less confident at this point let's try that again Okay, let's see what the car does here. Oh, it brakes for that truck in front of me. And it cuts the corner. So it sees that parked truck as a truck that is in my lane. And it takes a little while for it to see, well, actually it isn't. So okay, it's a safety feature that it brakes, I'd rather it brakes too much than too little. But I didn't expect that to happen. And then it cut the corner there on the on the turn so yeah well we would have to see what it does uh, maybe I'll try tonight again if that truck is gone or tomorrow and see what it does there but I feel less comfortable letting autopilot handle that section so yeah um, some improvements some regression I think uh, maybe in the next update it will do that a lot better um, I don't know it's a different way of handling that this specific situation so it's interesting uh, to see and of course yes I know autopilot is uh, only geared towards highway driving at this point um, and everything it does on secondary roads that's a bonus uh, but yeah it's, it's getting better and better at handling things like the hill crest and, and everything so do I think Autopilot 1 is or Autopilot 2 is now on the same level as Autopilot 1? In view of driving, um, I would say close, really close, maybe like 99% in my opinion. But we are still missing auto lane changes on secondary roads, which Autopilot 1 cars can do. And we are also still missing the side collision warning and side collision avoidance that's also still not available on autopilot which I find strange because that is based on the ultrasonics on the side so yeah not sure why that is not yet implemented uh, but hopefully that will be coming soon as well because on uh, multiple occasions I've had uh, a car veering off its lane or a truck wanting to come into my lane and, and mine, I'm in his blind spot or something I don't know or is just not paying attention and the car actually saved me um, so yeah I'd like to see that feature coming to my car as well um, but other than that 
yeah, I'm quite happy with this update. Uh, feel more comfortable in highway driving, feel more comfortable on second dirt roads. Okay, with those uh, specific sections, there are still some issues, uh, but yeah, I don't have a problem with that uh, because those are really hard things or hard sections uh, that I'm testing each and every time uh, to see how the autopilot enhances on that front. But yeah, so happy with this update. I think a lot of you will be happy as well because most of you won't be using autopilot in those circumstances. Um, I hope because it's not safe uh, at this point. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your update and see you guys next time. Bye bye.